What we have here is an International 153 cultivator that's been modified. First, when I set up a cultivator, I like to start at what's hooked to the tractor first, and that's the toolbar. That's this bar right here. And when setting up a cultivator, I want to make sure this is the same height off the ground as the one on the other end, so the cultivator's balanced. It's the same. Of course, normally I have it inside on a shed floor that's fairly level, so I can get that perfect. And uh, there's several parts of the cultivator that are important. We'll just go through some of them. Each one of these is considered a gang, okay? And then on a six row cultivator, there's seven gangs. And uh, what makes this a 153 is this, this part here, how this moves up and down and how it can be adjusted. Uh, we start out in the front, we have a gauge wheel. This sets the depth of the whole entire gang. You move this piece up, it puts the whole gang in the ground deeper. You move this wheel down, and it, it raises the depth so it doesn't go in the ground as deep. This part here is called a guide cutter. This goes in the ground as deep as we can get it in the ground. And as this wheel wears, it gets farther. Normally this wheel is up about that high. It's worn because it's gone a lot of miles in the field and it stays very sharp, and, but eventually wears down smaller and smaller. If I can get this much in the ground, it's still okay. That'll hold the cultivator true. Uh, the spring has to be adjusted right to make sure it mashes that in the ground, the distance it needs to go. Uh, and next we can talk about the sweeps. Uh, these are the front sweeps. I think, I'm, I think of these guys here, and these are worn quite a bit, as the spark plug of the system. This here being the combustion chamber. And this is set wider at the front than it is the back, helping stuff not plug here, helping your crop get in. So as you get off the row, it still funnels your crop in. And because it's angled, it helps to lean the weeds over towards the crop. This spark plug blasts the soil in there and covers up the weeds, knocks them down. May not cover them all up, but knocks them down. And it comes in from both sides, so you got to sweep over here. At this point in time, I've got these sweeps turned around. Normally, this one would go on this side and this one on this side because they're what's called a three-quarter inch sweep. And I turn them around so that I can actually get closer to the row. Uh, sometimes I run where this is only three inches. Uh, right now they're set at about five. Uh, this year our weeds were not that big. As I get to what I call stage four weeds, stage one, you're one-fourth the size of your crop. Stage two, you're half the size of your crop. Stage three, they're three-fourths the size of your crop as far as the weeds and grass. And stage four is when your weeds and grass is the same height as the crop. Okay, uh, when the crop gets taller, I get these in closer and closer and closer because I've got to physically cut the weeds off if they're as tall as the crop. That's the only way you can't cover them up without covering up a crop. It's the law of physics. Uh, these here are called blades. They're an offensive tool as well as a defensive tool. Uh, as an offensive tool, they actually control the flow of soil and also physically have an effect on how the weeds lean. So uh, uh, if you off balance somebody, you can knock them down. If you off balance the weed and tip it over a little bit, then the flow of soil, the first flow of soil off this sweep, will knock it down completely, even sometimes completely cover it up. If it doesn't get the job done, the next flow of soil will completely cover up the, uh, the weed and grass. And uh, we hopefully to do that without covering up the crop. Now, uh, these sweeps are fairly worn. It's time for new sweeps, but it was working well and doing the job, so we just left it the way it is. Sometimes new sweeps are not as effective and work as well as older sweeps. But uh, at this point in time, this is getting worn thin enough and the next sweep back is thin enough. We'll probably put brand new sweeps on this. And uh, with that, uh, we'll move around to the back of the cultivator. Each one of these gangs has a turnbuckle here that you can turn to change the angle of this bar right here. Okay, when I'm setting up a cultivator, I want all these the same height and all of them the same angle. And then I want all the sweeps to be set and adjusted down the same depth from this bar. Uh, we have, I use a four sweep system. The four, the four sweep system gives me two throws of soil to the row. The first flow of soil, what I call the combustion chamber, the spark plugs on each side, throws the soil in, slams it in real hard into the row. The next sweeps following that put the next flow of soil in kind of horizontally and finish covering out covering up the weeds and doing the job. Uh, this sweep here would be set up for a fifth sweep system and we don't use that for first cultivation. Uh, we use a single sweep for the second cultivation and clean out the centers of the row. Um, with that, I think that's just about 
the basics. When I'm setting up a cultivator, a, a lot of a lot of times people, when they set up a cultivator, they want a single sweep. They want something simple, simple to use. And I like to micro it down to where those weeds and grass are sporadically growing on both, uh, you know, in different, they're not lined up perfectly like your soybeans or your corn. So they get no rigidity from one another. So by setting my, what I call my first line of uh, defense or the spark plug, which is the two shanks in front that, that, that are the lead shanks that throw the soil in first, I think of that dirt as being bullets or shotgun shot. And uh, naturally, if you're gonna shoot something, the closer you are, the more accurate you can be. From the time that soil at the front sweep, the spark plug leaves that shank, it slows down. It's, it starts out real fast and then it slows down because of the friction on everything, okay? I want to blast it in there with a lot of velocity and uh, I, I, I want there to be sufficient weight, sufficient mass, a big enough caliber and enough pow behind it that it can knock the weeds down and take the weeds out and, and leave the crop because the crops are protected by the blades.